Russell Westbrook has seen better days. He recently lost Paul George to the Clippers three years after Kevin Durant left him to sign with the Warriors. Adding to his woes, Russ's Thunder have lost in the first round of the postseason for the last three seasons. Steven Jackson still hanging with us. Steven, what does all of this tell you about Russ? To me, it's a blessing in disguise for Russ. Hmm. This is your way to get out of OKC. You want to be loyal. You stayed there through all the Kevin Durant stuff. You came out and said, I'm, 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 I want to be loyal. This organization drafted me. You know, I want to be here and, 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 sh and show some loyalty. Well, now, you don't have to look unloyal. They looked unloyal to you. They got rid of Paul. They got rid of the guy that they brought there to help you to win and for longevity. Now he's gone. This is your opportunity to say, well, hey, I want to get out. I want to go team up with somebody and play, and it don't make you look bad. So this is a blessing in disguise for Russ. And I think if he can get to Miami or somewhere where he was, he's with another star that can embrace him, that a hard-nosed guy like Jimmy Butler, I think he'll benefit from it. But it's a blessing in disguise for him. This is your way out. I think it looks horrible for Russ because Paul George stood up on the stage a year ago mm -hmm. and says he wants to be here. We're going to win a title here. And he dipped. Kevin Durant dipped. James Harden dipped. That doesn't look good. They like Russ off the court, but they convinced Paul, jo Paul George and Kevin Durant mainly were convinced we're not going to win a title with Russ. His style of play is not going to lead us to a championship. That's what they said. I don't care how you dress it up. Well, they said, I can't win. Who and said that? By leaving. That's what they said. Oh, okay. Without saying a word. All right. Nobody actually said that. No. Let me ask you a question. If you married and your wife don't come home again, what's she saying? She, she made a bad decision. <laughs> the worst decision she ever made in her life. <laughs> she said, I got you. She, Sorry, she lost. She, she, she ain't got to say nothing. She's telling you that. I mean, right. Exactly. That's what they're saying. And it's, it's a failure on the organization part, Skip, because you're going to have three guys that go into the Hall of Fame. You had them in their prime. I played against you them. You had three MVPs. You saw them up close and real All three person, of them. Because you were up 2-0 on that group, and right? they came back four games four straight. Four straight games. <laughs> three MVPs, three Hall of Famers, and you got one finals appearance out of that. Mm -hmm. So you're going to blame one person? No, no, no. But I, I'm no, look, they cheap James Harden. For an extra $5 million, you could have had James Harden for another three That's years. That's where it all went downhill. What you should have done is that you should have played like KD. You're our guy. KD was the best player. He was. You got to put your arms around the best player and say, you I got. But that's not what they did. They said, Russ, you're our guy. KD says, okay, that's y'all guy. I can't win with him. At least if y'all were going to tell me I'm your guy, mm -hmm. I can stay here and stomach it. Mm -hmm. But since he's your guy, win with him. I'm out of here. Mm -hmm. And you get nothing for it. Right. Mm -hmm. And now, Russ, that contract, four years, 170. The last year, the player option for $47 million. With all those mileage on that body, talk to me in another year and see how that contract looks. Mm. It looks bad right now. Only John Wall has the worst contract. Mm. But check back with me in two years with all the mileage on that body. Mm. So to your point, I'm not going to leave it alone because <laughs> I, I know the Thunder pretty well because I'm from Oklahoma City. That team, after they traded James Harden, after that year you guys lost in the conference finals to him, they traded to, to uh, Houston. They got Stephen Adams out of there. The, the, effectively, these are the draft picks that they came out with. Jeremy Lamb. They got Kevin Martin in the deal. They got Abrinas. They got Mitch McGarry. That was that was what you got for James Harden. And I, I couldn't figure out why they didn't. They're they going to have to go over the luxury tax right. to pay him. And I believe that Presti said, I'll never be able to pay all three of them in for a long time, you know, for years. Mm -hmm. So they just said, let's cut cut our loss here, take the best deal on the table. And I don't think they knew quite what James Harden was going to turn into yet. No. Right. Even though Sam Presti stole him in the draft. Yes. Mm -hmm. He stole all these guys in the draft. Mm -hmm. Kevin was already their With guy. Yeah. yeah, right. But the point is, remember, after that year, going into the next year, they, they win 60 games next year with just Durant and Westbrook. 60 and 22. In the West. In the West. Yeah. That That's... <laughs> that's powerhouse Great year. stuff, yeah. right? Awesome year. And then they go in as one of the big favorites into the postseason. And what happens in round one, Russ gets Patrick Beverly, you know? And, <laughs> yeah. and Beverly tries to steal the ball from him and hits his knee. And his knee's pretty, it's it, it's pretty, uh, you know, it's uh, it, it can't take much right. of a beating right. at all. It's It's been trouble. Well, it if you already... look at him, Skip, the way he walked, he's not need to begin with. Yeah, he is. So his no. knees turn in, a little, turn in yeah. a little bit, So and he went to call a 20-second timeout. Pat, Be Pat Bev underclipped yeah. him, 
and meniscus. Yeah, it and wasn't a, a kill. Um, I mean, it wasn't a, a rupture. ACL, but, right, no, came back uh, quick from it. Too. Yeah, and the thing is, he but they, he was out for the rest of the playoffs. Yeah. They keep having to go back in that. Okay, night. so where they got fooled was then they meet Memphis in the next round. Mm -hmm. And they win the first game with only Durant as their solo star. And, and Kevin Durant did not play well because they lost the next four games. And go look at the numbers in the fourth quarters of those four games. He shot 28% from the field and 20% from three in the fourth quarters. So that's where I got fooled because I was thinking, Kevin, come on, you're better than that. Mm -hmm. And that's where they decided Russ over KD. And they end up letting KD just... He won't. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. That kind okay. of play, you can't let Skip. You can't let a player like that nah, walk out. You can't if, right. Especially if you have his rights. You well, they didn't know. They didn't know Skip because they got no indication that he was going to leave. Because normally you start hearing things, you know, swirling. You like, I got to move the guy because I got to get something. Because if he walks out the door and I get nothing, I got to get something. At least they got something. We don't like who are those Jeremy Lamb and you got Stephen Adams. Okay, but you got something. Yep. You got nothing okay. for KD. Okay, so I hear your point about he's going to be able to get out from under, mm -hmm. but they're going to have to basically give, give him, him away. away. Right. That's where you got, which right. is why I told you earlier today, they should have, if you're going to trade Russell Westbrook, trade him at least a year ago, maybe two years ago, when value is sky high. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay? He's so, still having the triple double now. But see, doesn't okay. forget that. Guess what? Forget that. And can't get out the first Three round. Three years straight. He can't get out the first round. He can't do it by himself. We had Paul George. You're right. They had Kevin Durant. You're right. But they also ran into. Damian Lillard. Mm -hmm. that, oh, really? There's nothing they could do that series. He Damn does. Lillard. I mean, so what Utah the year before? Mm. And they had Carmelo this, for what it this, was worth. This Portland series was just one of them series where a great player is nothing you can do, and they couldn't do nothing with Damian. Okay, what about, what about Utah and Donovan Mitchell? I think Russ actually played good that series. He played good for a couple of games. Paul George did. Paul George was a no-show. Yeah. Right, right. I mean, before this team year, not that good in the West now. Let's be, be honest. Let, let, but let's be honest. Since we're being all the way honest, yeah. let's be honest. Paul George, before last year, the only game winning shots he was hitting in Gatorade commercials. But, yeah, but... but yeah, but what? But you gonna measure a guy by how many game winners he hits? No, I'm... We don't measure players like Hold that. Hold on. Did you see him in Indiana? He played well in Indiana. What you I, mean? And what was he doing? They Go didn't on. win. He played well. Okay. They didn't win. Okay. So what, what, what LeBron you? didn't win last year. So did he have a bad year? No, 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 no. I'm not saying... LeBron made man. <laughs> oh, you, I know you ain't hold on. Stand up. See, this way you I and I got to part. This, I have to make that this, point now. This way you and I got to part with. You just compare Paul George to LeBron. Just because you don't win don't mean you didn't play well. Oh, my goodness. Is that right, though? Just because you didn't win don't mean you didn't play do, well. Do you remember LeBron took LeBron and four guys that he got out the YMCA and came back on Paul George in Indiana from a 25-point lead? I do remember that. Mm. You remember Paul George passed up two had two shots. Skip, we talked about it on the show. He had two shots, and two then he got shots. out of C.J. Miles talking about he needed a shot. It when was, he passed it up twice. Remember, he was, was punishing Miami. Game, this was game one on a Saturday afternoon. Yes. Had a chance. to. It was at Cleveland. At Cleveland. Had a chance to put them down 0-1 in their building. Two shots to do it. You know I don't want sound like shots. right now? We sound like when we was talking about Braun when he passed the ball to Corver. Same thing. Mm. We still, we, you know what I'm saying? We talking about what they didn't do. They're both great. Paul had a great year now. But here's the thing, though. He didn't get, but he's not. Corver, Corver didn't pass the ball back. He took the shot. CJ passed it to him, and, and Paul Harper <laughs> taking it back to him. He did. He did. <laughs> Look, he did. this is an, this can't be this this can't make Russ feel good. Yeah. Everybody yeah. wants to leave Stack. This is his way out without having to seem like he's being ungrateful for what they've done for him. Okay, Stack, but here's, you know what I mean? here's yeah. the point. I know you love him. I love to watch Russell Westbrook. I wouldn't want to play with him, and I don't think you would love playing with him either. I would because I know he cares. There's so many guys in the NBA right now that care about what the game can do for him and not about Most the game. Most people think he cares about his stats. That's correct. Does he Does he care about I don't, his brand and I stats? I, would, I wouldn't say that because he plays hard. Like, I know. It's, it's, not like he, it's not like he's going on, on an ESPN game and I'm going to get 30 just because I'm on ESPN. He mm. does this every night whether they're on TV or not. Let me ask you a question. When they are shooting free throws, how many point guards in the history of the game, other than Magic Johnson, did you? See? You ever see John Stockton? A lot I, of I'm glad you asked me that. Yeah. How many point guards you know go after rebounds like him? Cause why? No, I'm just saying trouble. that's effort. Yeah. That's that's wanting to. But the effort takes away from your jump shot late in ball games because you're tired. That's why you're shooting 29 well, percent from the three. Well, what does Ben Simmons shoot? But I ain't talking about Ben Simmons. I'm just saying you want to talk about somebody I, shooting. I'm talking about Russ. I'm talking about Russ because right now you're saying. Uh, Paul George and Kevin Durant says, I do not believe. Kevin Durant said, I tried it for nine years. Paul George said, after a year and a half, I saw the writing on the wall. I'm good. Mm -hmm. 
But nobody's actually said that. It's a whole bunch of assumptions. They said Kawhi bought a house in Toronto. Everybody was believing. Ain't nobody don't know. You tried to give out. That's that. <laughs> I'm That's just that. saying, though. That. Nobody's never said that. You want that. words or deeds? I want words. I love playing with Russ as you check out the door. Mm. I love playing with Russ because as I go someplace else. It was about a better opportunity for KD to win championships. It, no, no. But if he could win a championship there, he would have stayed, right? Okay, so playing with Kate, playing with Russ, then going to play with Steph, Clay, Draymond, that's a no-brainer. If mm. I can win a championship where I'm at... It's a little harder. It's not the same team. Because guess what? They go, what did they say about KD? You had them down 3 0. You had them down 3 1. That did. team that you joined, you had them down 3 1. And they what did. happened? They did. We mm -hmm. got to leave it here, gentlemen. They they awesome it. stuff. <laughs> Amazing points. <laughs> they nailed it. So much for being here. Thank with you. Us. I love you. You know, I love being here. Thad Fauche oh shopping Russ Hard. We'll see if there's a market for him with that contract. Time will tell. All right. Who might actually want to team up with Kyrie Irving? Mm -hmm. We'll discuss that up next. Hey, everybody.